Hey, what's up everyone? Sam here. So in this list, I'm going to be showing you five things you didn't know were misnamed. Number five, the Big Bang. The man who came up with the name the Big Bang was astronomer Fred Hoyle. The funny part is that Fred Hoyle didn't agree with the Big Bang theory. He actually called it the Big Bang as a way of mocking the theory and the name just stuck. You see, the original name for the Big Bang theory was the primeval atom. The idea that the Big Bang was literally just one big explosion and everything just appeared is wrong. The theory actually states that all matter already existed but at a single point and the Big Bang was just an expansion of that matter. Number 4. Global Warming If you forget everything you know about global warming and just hear the words, they don't really sound that bad. After all, if you live in a cold country, you'd probably welcome the idea of warmer weather. And that's exactly why climate change was named as global warming, as a way of making the reality of it sound not so bad. The truth is, while the average surface temperature of our planet will increase due to the greenhouse effect, certain areas will actually get more colder. If melting ice stops large ocean currents in the Atlantic, which is a real concern, places like North America and Western Europe could freeze over. Climates will shift and extreme weather such as hurricanes, arctic blasts and more will become more common. So while it sounds like the planet will only heat up by a few degrees, which doesn't sound like a big deal, it has a chain reaction and that's where the concern is. It's no different to the human body. You can walk out in 45 degrees Celsius or 118 Fahrenheit weather and survive, but if your body temperature itself rises to that number, you'll very quickly die. Even an increase of just 1 degree Celsius to your body temperature already makes you feel sick, because the increase in temperature has a chain reaction that affects vital organs. If the temperature gets too high, these organs will begin to shut down. Number 3. Lunatic Call someone a lunatic and you're calling them crazy, mad or insane. The word lunatic comes directly from the Latin word luna, which means the moon. You see, for thousands of years, people believed the different phases of the moon could turn some people insane. Still, to this day, some people believe that a full moon can change someone's behavior. The science behind this idea is that just like the moon can influence the tide, it can influence the moistness of the brain, which changes one's behavior. Today, there is no evidence to suggest that the moon can turn someone insane or even change their behavior. But the word lunatic will forever be a reminder that at one point, people believed it can. Number 2. Panama Hat People believe that a Panama hat is a hat native to Panama. After all, it has Panama in its name, but the thing is, it's not native to Panama at all. Panama hats should really be called Ecuador hats, because you guessed it, they are actually made in Ecuador. Back in the mid-1800s, people didn't really pass through Ecuador, but many did pass through Panama. This is because Panama was an easy place to cross from the Atlantic to the Pacific Ocean. Ecuadorians who made these hats started sending their goods to Panama for international sale. However, they forgot to mention or write on the hats that they were actually made in Ecuador. As the hats became popular, people naturally just started calling them Panama hats because that's where they were sold from. Number 1. Canary Islands the Canary Islands today are one of the most popular tourist destinations. After all, they have lovely warm weather and beautiful beaches. They are also home to the singing canary birds, which are native to the islands, therefore it's pretty obvious that the islands were named after the birds, right? Not quite. In fact, the canary birds got their name from the islands, not the other way round. The islands got their name from a completely different animal. When the Romans first visited the islands almost 2,000 years ago, they noticed the islands were inhabited by loads of wild dogs. So they called the islands Canaria Insula, which meant the islands of wild dogs. The word Canaria comes from the Latin word canis, which of course means dog. This fact has actually been in plain sight on their flag. If you take a look at the Canary Islands flag, you'll notice in the center there are two dogs. Thank you for watching. Do make sure to turn on channel notifications and follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. All details are on screen and in the description below. Also, let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see next. I do read all comments and I'm always open to suggestions. Once again, thank you for watching, and until next time, feed your mind.